hasn't been a good week for Jonathan Major. Uh, let's let's face it, hasn't been a good year. Wasn't a good year for Jonathan Majors. It, it just recently, too, compounding on top of the fact that he got convicted on a couple of the charges he was facing. He's acquitted on a couple of the charges as well, but convicted on a couple. He hasn't been sentenced yet. But uh, earlier this week, it got announced that he was supposed to be starring in this uh, movie about Dennis Rodman. He officially got dropped from that. And now he's had this movie that's done, complete, in the can, was supposed to come out in late 2023, called Magazine Dreams. A movie that a lot of people were given some very enthusiastic awards buzz to. Some people saying it was the best performance of Jonathan Major's career. I had not seen it, but it did play at Sundance. Well, of course, the studio decided to postpone on releasing it until they saw what happened with the trial. The trial had its results. And now apparently the studio has dropped the film and it's back on the market. This comes us from The Hollywood Reporter, who write the following. Jonathan Major's Magazine Dreams is officially back on the market. <clears throat> Nearly a year after Searchlight Pictures acquired the bodybuilding drama, the specialty arm of Walt Disney Studios has quietly returned the rights to the, of the movie to the filmmakers, who will now shop it to other buyers. The, movie, the move comes mere weeks after Majors was convicted of assault and harassment stemming from an incident involving his ex-partner, Grace Jabari. Searchlight delivered the news to the magazine Dreams team late last week, and it would not be that it would not be releasing the film, according to sources. All right, <coughs> so... Not only did Majors get dropped from that, and, and of course we've talked in the past couple of months a number of projects that that uh, Jonathan was dropped from. Now this movie that they were so we were all kind of interested to see what would happen. I kind of thought Disney would just quietly drop it on Disney Plus or Hulu, to be honest with you. But apparently it's now gone back on the market, so that means it's a free agent. Other studios, streamers, whatever can come around and put in a bid to to pick it up. However, I don't know if right now there's going to be hot and heavy bidding for this project. And if there is bidding, it's going to be low ball. It's like putting your Corvette on the market and hoping to get, you know, a $150,000 offer. Only word got out that there's no engine and all of a sudden you're getting a $5,000 offer on the car. And I think, unfortunately, that's going to be the reality for Magazine Dreams right now. Now, listen. I've been on record that I do think Jonathan Major's career can recover eventually. I made an entire editorial video very specifically going through, and you can find it on the channel, specifically going through exactly what it was and what the charges were that he was found guilty of, and as importantly, if not even more importantly, what the jury determined he was not guilty of. Uh, for example, the jury determined that Jonathan Majors did not intentionally harm anybody. They ruled that he did harm somebody, but they said it was not intentional. Like, it wasn't his intent. It was through reckless behavior, and, and that's led to that and all that kind of stuff. And he needs to be held accountable for it, and he is being held accountable. But because of that, I do believe in the long run, I, I think his career will be able to rebound at some point. But it's not today. And there are going to be some people who don't understand business, who are going to cry foul, and I say this as a big fan of Jonathan Majors' talent and, and his, his as an actor. But <clears throat> there are going to be some people say, it's not fair that Searchlight dropped the movie. It's, guys, fair has nothing to do with it. This is business. And it's not about what's, what, what does Jonathan Majors deserve or not deserve. It's not about any of that. It's just a business where this studio is now looking at this product they have. And that's what a movie is. It's a product. It's a piece of art, but a product nonetheless. And they say, we think this is going to cause us more problems. It's not a judgment on Jonathan Majors. It's not a judgment on anybody. It's just that from a business point of view, this project is going to cause us problems. We can't put a lot of marketing money into it. We're going to have, you know, some backlash come back at us if we release it. So it's just in our best interest, has nothing to do with Jonathan Majors. It's just in our best interest right now to not be associated with the project. So we are going to let it go and let it go back on the market. We're going to return it to the filmmakers and they can go shop it around. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
better help. Guys, it's a brand new year and a lot of people are making New Year's resolutions, you know, things they want to change about themselves. But I've always believed that it's also equally as important to identify the things we're doing well and building on those. And therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. I've always believed that nothing impacts our daily performance in our jobs, our hobbies, our relationships, like our mental health. And I've also said for a long time that it's about time that we stop just putting emphasis on improving our physical health by getting out to the gym, but also by putting emphasis on improving our mental health as well. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Campia. But Rob, I don't know what kind of market there's going to be <laughs> for magazine dreams. I mean, maybe somebody with some foresight can look at this and go, you know what? We can probably pick this up for a steal right now, like at 5% of their original asking price. And then let's sit on it for two years and then release it in a couple of years. That way we've got this bargain basement price, awards quality film, and maybe a year, two years, three years when the smoke is settled, we'll mount a little bit of a campaign, we'll release it on Netflix, Paramount Plus, release it theatrically, whatever. But I just don't think it's gonna get a lot of action right now. What do you think is gonna come of this? First of all, let me just say that I don't wanna make light of Jonathan Major's situation, but I'm thinking about Elijah uh, Byram. Who is Elijah Byram? He's the writer director of this film. And I can't as a Who some people were saying he was going to be the next big thing as a result of this I movie. Mean, I mean, I can as an independent filmmaker, I know how hard it is one to get a movie made to try and to raise funds for a movie and then to make a film that is is not only great, considered great in the festival circuit, but gets picked up by Searchlight, which is one of the most prestigious, one of the most Academy Award winning indie film acquisition and, and distributors that we've ever seen this filmmaker i don't know how long it took him to get the movie made it could have been the result of 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 years of work to make the film he made and to have it get the response it, it got and then to have it picked up for distribution is is the realization of a lifelong dream yeah and i i can't i mean i've been thinking about this a lot that and all the people that worked on this film this film does not have a million producers it has four and so the people that got this movie made really believed in it. And I keep thinking about them, you know, that they did their jobs. They won. And then to have victory snatched away from them like this, I, uh, I really, and, and the rest of the cast and crew, is, as Kane says, it, it really bums me out because it's so hard to make it in this business. And here's somebody that, that did it. You know, and because of the power of, of what happened is completely out of his hands, I understand, and people need to be punished for their actions. But I just can't can't stop thinking about the people that made this film. And we've seen that a lot in the last couple of years, right? Like where people who poured their blood, sweat, and tears, tens, dozens, hundreds, thousands of people who pour their blood, sweat, and tears into a project, and then all of a sudden that project gets poisoned or or sullied, if you will, because of the actions of one person that then kind of makes the project undesirable to to the companies that would come along and support it, which yeah. it really sucks for those people. No, it really does. And I, 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 my heart breaks for them. And But, I mean, luckily, it could have been thrown away. It could have been put on a shelf. And the fact that- They could have backgirled it. Yeah, and it, they could have. And the fact that Searchlight gave the film back I think they know how good it can be. It's just Disney as a company can't be seen as releasing this film. Maybe another company will pick it up. What Hopefully. do you think ultimately? Like, again, I have a theory that I don't think anybody's going to pick it up and release it right now. No. I, I think, and this is, again, it's too bad for the producers of this movie because they're going to get ripped off now because they're going to have to sell the rights to this at a bargain basement cheapo price. And then someone's going to take it. And what I think is going to happen, somebody, whether it's a, a, a Paramount, a Universal, a Netflix, 
whatever, are going to pick it up and then sit on it for a couple of years. Do you see that happening? I know. I, I, I think that's exactly that? what's going to happen. And, you know, the real tragedy of all this is Jonathan Majors is an electrifying performer. When he's good, he's really, really he's, good. I'll say he's Oscar caliber. His and his talent physical, level is Oscar his physical caliber. presence in this movie, he turned into a monster to do this film. I mean, physically, he looks fantastic. And I really was looking forward to seeing this film. You don't hear a movie that has this kind of buzz. And it's it just bums me out all the way around. All right, guys. Question is, what do you think is going to happen with this film? Uh, forget what you think should happen or shouldn't happen, what's fair, what's not fair. Those are irrelevant questions. What will happen, do you think? I, I kind of think somebody will pick it up for a bargain basement price and maybe release it in a couple of years. Maybe there's an avenue for it to get released right away. I don't know. Whatever you think, let us know. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.